And right now, many Mexican truckers protesting at the U.S.-Mexico border, blocking off major bridges since Monday. Tensions there rising as Texas Governor Greg Abbott's new inspection policy is now in full swing. Drivers waiting nearly 14 hours to cross the border as Texas State Police carefully search each and every commercial vehicle. News Nation's border correspondent Robert Sherman joining us live now. So, Robert, traffic actually just started going again within the past few minutes. Yeah, maybe 20 minutes ago, Nicole, for the first time in days, we're seeing trucks and cars going through the port of entry into Mexico. From the Mexican side, we have seen a couple of cars going through, but none of these large commercial trucks to this point. Still, along the U.S.-Mexico border, truckers waiting 10, 12, 14 hours to get through, and those delays are impacting everyday people. Yeah, I normally do it there. Jesse James makes his livelihood on the road as a trucker, driving goods across the country. But right now, he's not on the road. He's stuck, waiting for his trailer of goods to come across the border from Mexico. You, if those tires aren't moving, I don't get paid. So I'm sitting here spending money out of my pocket and not getting anything. Since Monday, the Far Reynosa National Bridge has been effectively blocked off by Mexican truckers. The protests come in response to Texas Governor Greg Abbott's order to have state troopers inspect all trucks coming in from Mexico. Unusually long backups have been seen at ports of entry along the border. This one issue is just a portion of the heightening tensions seen along the border. As Title 42, the COVID provision used to expel many undocumented migrants who illegally cross into the U.S., is set to expire next month. Should Title 42 expire, Texas officials fear they will see mass surges of migrants coming across the border. Clad in full gear, the Texas National Guard was seen undergoing riot training along the Rio Grande River late last week. For someone like Jesse James, who uses the border to make a living, he sees the issue both ways. But all he wants is for the political bickering to stop. They need to sit down and work this out in D.C. to straighten out the borders. They really do. And he said, she said, doesn't work anymore. It need, they need to come down here and actually see what it's doing to the general public. And new today, Governor Greg Abbott and the uh, governor of Nuevo Leon, that's where Laredo is, have come to an agreement where Texas state troopers will be easing some of those searches, going back to random searches, effectively to what the system was like before. That only affects the Laredo port of entry. Now the issue is, Nicole, you have all this inconsistency along the border. If you go through Laredo, you won't have all those stops. But if you go through here and far, you will. That's creating lots of tension here on the border. Yeah, Nicole. lots of tension, lots of delays. All right, Robert, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.